Hello! In tonight's Cow Children, the role of Cow Children will be played by the Beach Children. Hi! My name's Mike Love, and I'm a beach boy. Girls are always ready for a summer of love. I'm Dennis Wilson. I'm the only beach boy who surfs, and I die at the end of Act 1. The name's Carl Wilson, and I am underrepresented in this telling. I'm Murray Wilson. I'm the boys' manager and their father. Hi, my name's Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys, and I just lost all hearing in my left ear. I guess you could say I'm bummed at my old man. Hi. Beach Boys, Beach Joys, and any other Beach Children worries, worries, every son of a beach. Beach mums, beach bums, hoping no manson will kill them. Seasides, besides, happiness out of reach. All beach children, asking is Mike a villain? Fast cars thrill them more than they do to me. Beach boys, big noise, highest award in civilian. Sun time, fun time, whatever beach you be. I got a bone to pick, Al. Roadie showed me our latest record sleeve. Uncle Murray's gonna fine us if he sees you with a roadie. You're thinking of a groupie, but look at this. Beach boy, surf a girl, fair dues. But Brian's name's written on the back five times more than mine. Five and a half times more than yours, even. Let's see. Those are songwriting credits. But we were all there, weren't we? I'm not a proud guy, but look. Hawaii was me. Catch a wave, be true to your school. I wrote that. I did. And so did you. You did the part that do, 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 dumb. And Salt Lake City was all my love. Whole lot of love. That's what I say. I'm not a proud guy, but so help me, Al Jardine. Cool it, Mike. Maharishi says Jai Guru Love. It's Jai Guru Dev. Hey there. You're with the Beach Boys, right? I am the Beach Boys. I know you. You're the Beatles. That's right. I'm Paul Beatles. Sorry if I'm not all here. Just working up a new song for the new album. Would you like to hear it? Sure, why not? Why not? It's a sort of rock and roll ode to Russia, the USSR and all that. What? Rocking out on balalaikas? No, but it's a thought. I'm imagining a rundown of Russian girls like California girls. You know Ukraine girl this, Kiev girls down there. Have a good time. Georgia's always on my, 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 my mind. Hey, that's not so bad. You'll be wanting a co-writer credit at this rate. Nah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You know what? I think you really are. Van Dyke Parks! Brian, so help me if I hear another word about Van Dyke Parks, I'm gonna quit the band and take all the others with me. Yeah, Mike's right. Where's my drums and all this? It's like you've been taken out of all the music and replaced it with all the instruments. What the hell, Brian? Yeah, Brian. What the hell? You stay out of it, Al. Oh, it's the concept. It's the album. You guys just jet off and play the shows. I stay home and make the next LP. It's the next one yet. Pet sounds? That's where it went wrong. Should have been pet songs. Pet music. We're not selling sounds. Or we shouldn't be. But I had this great vision. And what vision was that, Brian? Because I had a sober-ass vision right now. And it's this. We sing songs about cars, about surfing, and about girls. Never all three at the same time. That's it, that's us, and that's big time money, fame, and the American dream. Maybe a bit of nature, a bit of Mother Earth. Keep it cool and easy, but BAM! Back to cars and girls, but we keep on rocking, we keep on rolling. Dennis can keep on surfing. Appreciate the recognition. What are all these songs about? And most of them I love a girl, but she doesn't love me back yet. Okay, but that doesn't sound sexy. I'm, I'm a bad boyfriend. We can make it sexy. Damn right, we can make it sexy. We're America's band. Hey. Where's Brian? He's having a mental breakdown. Darn. What's that mean for the album? You know what? Let's just make a different album. Okay, cool. Come in here, Brian. Sit down. Sure thing, Pop. We're going to be signing some autographs on a few photos, a few contracts. A few what? Six by fours. Picks, Brian. Publicity stuff for the fan club. Somebody sent you this ticket to sign, and we can resell that. And just here, on this line. What gives? That's a legal document. You never need to fear anything legal. That's my job. Pop, Pop, you're trying to sell a back catalog. No, I'm trying to sell rights to your back catalog, and to your current catalog. 
Just a little honey in the pot. No, you know what, old man? I'm bummed at you. I'm bummed that you're trying to make me sign autograph things. I don't know why I never get to meet real fans, sign real autographs. You're too disposable, Brian. Scratch that. Breakable. You're like a feather on an insect or a butterfly. Fans are caustic. They're, what's it called? Friction. Cigarette? No way, Pop! You'll regret it when you get to my age, still singing like a castrated-ass tom kitten. Listen up straight, son. Cigarettes can't make you a man. You're in the recording industry, and people can hear how many you have and haven't smoked. Better to get them from me than have Dennis smuggle them in secretly. Never trust your brothers, Brian. Now sign here on the line. No way! You're trying to take songwriting credits! Credit's still yours, son. I'm just moving some of the money around the oval sea of tunes. That's where money comes from. You know, I can forge your autograph, right? Mwah, for the fans, right? Never disappoint them or they'll kill you. Bring you here to meet a friend of mine. Throws the best parties. This had better not be Charles Manson again. He calls this place Charles Mansion. Don't repeat that, though. He doesn't like jokes if he's not telling. Doesn't like money if we're not spending, you mean. The man's an artist. He'll pay us back all those ten thousand in art and parties. Art parties. And some days I need that kind of party. Yo, howdy, beach bums. There's gonna be a race war. A war between the races. Are you ready for that? No, wait. Which side am I on? Same side as the Beatles, man. You're good. Come on in. We're all family here. Even you, Carl. Sure. Thanks, man. Yo, since we got you two in here, any chance the two of you beachy boys could help a starving family? We can cut a record together, you can cut me a check. Sure, bro. Same amount? Here, Dennis. Here, look at this. Look at this. It's a bullet. You know how they call that in French Canada? A bullet. Okay, a bullet. Great, Charles. You look close to that bullet, Dennis. I brought some of the stuff. Wait. What stuff? Drugs! Okay, okay, great, right, okay, 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 great, uh, right. Okay, carry on then. I'm going to the John, that's the place you West Coast guys call the toilet. But I'm coming back to get ya! What the hell, Denny? He was trying to threaten you. No way. And if he was, well, we beat him this time. He went away. This is how they do it in Vietnam. Call it a bandolier or bullets. I'd show you the bombs, too, but Mary's out using them. Gonna blow up a person. Dennis? Charlie, you crazy bastard. What won't you do? Stick around and you'll find out. Hey, Mike. Phone for you. I can't hear you. Hello? Brian, shut it down. Brian's recording the piano in a damn sand pit. Having a whole party. He's going off on one. What? Speak up. Okay, okay, I'll tell the boys. Okay, have a good one. Believe the nerve calling at, what is it? Nine o'clock at night? Ten past? Ten minutes, too? We're trying to make records here. We're all gonna be on this. Or did you replace us with a choir of children, Brad? Oh, well, this is solo stuff. This ain't gonna be a B-Boys album. I'm calling us the B-Boys now. Cool thing, Bri. You got adult slash child, and I'm gonna pull out some of my own. Real heavy sound. Rock sound. Mike's right. Not everything's gotta be folk at a choir. Well, as the only one of us with much of a singing voice. Great. I'm glad to announce, you know, something, something on Broadway. The who, Mike? You're the only one without a solo proj. Up yours, Al Jardine. Bruce Johnson doesn't have a solo proj. He's not just the stuntman Brian. And I do have a solo proj. And a duo proj. I'm solo stacked. It's gonna be called Mike Loves America, or Mike Love Not War, or Summer of Love, or Love Me Some Fat Ass, and it's gonna be country music, sexy country music with bells on top. The real deal. You know what's country as hell? Country as corn dogs and sitting on a bleacher playing baseball. Sad songs, sad, tragic, dead dog songs. I got a song coming together so sad it's called Ringles. The dog died, Carl. The dog died, and there I am singing about it and how. Now I'll always remember, and America will always remember. Sounds great, Mike. I don't know how it ends yet. I've not put pen on paper, but I got it in my body and soul, and I'm telling you this. Wrinkles is gonna have rhymes. You're damn right Wrinkles is gonna have rhymes. Got me crying since you started on dying. 
Don't you dare say I don't have a solo prize. I got him thick up to my neck, Al. I don't like this kind of beer. Bring me another one. Someone get me a piano. We're gonna do it right here. Great. All the B-boys together. Get behind me, Brian. You always do this. You always bring us together. You fat, ever-loving pup. This is solo. Solo. I say, Mike, who is that on the phone? It was Murray Wilson calling to say he's dead. He died. Gosh darn. Darn it. Darn. What are you darning about? You hated your old man. Family's breaking apart, but the B-boys stay together, right? Do yourself a favor, Bri. Make as many solo records as you like. Fill your boots. Just don't release any. Cause ain't nobody gonna listen. Well there. Whoa yourself. Somebody's gotta be the man of the family now. It's not gonna be Bri. Not gonna be you, Denny. You better watch yourself. Get a haircut. Get off that piano, Bri. It's not respectful. Give me a go. Say, Carl, who do the song rights go to again? Let's see if Tunes Pop sold it for a dollar. Well, that's that idea shot in the ass. Right up the ass. Hey, no Dennis today. Maybe I was too harsh. I just want us all to be a success, get some happiness, get some TM. How's about another song on Transcendental Meditation? It's got rhymes for days. Transcendental Meditation should be part of your time. It's simple, as easy as making this rhyme. See, Al knows what it's all about. He's out there chasing the dollars. We all like dollars, like in the song. Vulgar topic, Mike, but Mar-a-Lago ain't gonna buy itself. Maharishi says the dollar ain't worth a damn. Dollars, little people money. Now, songwriting credits, that's the real dollar. That's the capital you can live on. Best thing is, you never even spend it. It lasts forever. It passes down to your boys and girls. Bad news, boys. I've knocked my hand. Youch! How'd you do that? We're gonna have to call off the session. Hey, somebody better call Ringo Starr. Or Ricky Fatar. All sounds the same to me. I wasn't looking to be replaced. Okay, Danny. What were you looking for? <laughs> A little sympathy? Hello? Ricky Fatar says he's free, and do we want Blondie Chaplin? Is she hot? They're coming right over! See, that was simple. I'm sure you'll get back into it, but the Beach Boys are a rolling river. Now you can put your feet up, smoke a crack pipe- This ain't funny. Cool it, Danny. I wasn't being funny. I thought that was your cure all these days. Hi, I'm Ricky Fatar. Peace and love. Why, I'm spent. I'm washed up. Come out from under the piano. It's not safe. I don't know. The Pied Piper. I've seen this movie a thousand times. You're gonna sit up suddenly and whack your head. So let him whack it. My love. If Danny's out of the band, what if I'm next? Dennis isn't out of the band. He's right here. I'm right here, Brian. It's one of those skit tracks, like... Brian stuck in the piano. Don't encourage him. Anyone got a number for a psycho, psycho, babble, and psychiatrist? You know, you guys should eat more vegetables. Hi, hello. I'm Mike Love. Mike Love? From the Beach Boys? Heard of us? Right, then you've heard of me. I want a direct line to Eugene Landy. Welcome back, Brian. Remember me, Eugene Landy? I'm not like the other psychiatrists, because I'm fun and cool, and I mean business. We'll just leave him here with you, right? Okay. Yes. Family upset him. Family upset most everyone. Dennis stormed out to who knows where. I'll put him on my watch list. Now, Brian, Al Jardine tells me you didn't want to come back, Brian. Just autograph here and here. Thank you. You can leave as soon as you want to. But in the meantime, you and me are going to co-write so many songs. Gotta think big, Brian, because you are a big star name. I just want to see my brothers. You've got a big heart, Brian. That's what America loves about you. Now, come and look at this. Did you ever hear about the keytar? All right, Paul. Jerry Paris is out. Jimmy Drake is in. It's a new broom for the series. Mm, I don't know. Please Academy 2, their first assignment. Please Academy 3, back in training, have been moderate successes. But I'll be honest, I just don't know how much there is left to say about the police or academies. Cinema thrives on new images and fresh juxtaposition. Three words. Citizens on patrol. COP. Oh, heck. Oh, holy heck. I think you're onto something. We're finally going to bring this series into the late 80s. There'll be glass glow, a hot air balloon, and I have an idea for a big skateboard sequence. Get me Gene Quintano. Who do you reckon for the soundtrack? I have an in with Eugene Landy. He can get us Brian Wilson. Brian Wilson's dead. 
Didn't he die of the blues? That was 60s Bran. We're booking 80s Bran. You won't believe your ears. It's for you. <coughs> Sounds like it's Dennis. Dennis? Merry Christmas, Carl. It's nearly Easter. Sure thing, bro. I just had to call ya. Where are you living at the Mo? Oh, no at all. I'm between homes. I just came out of rehab. Did it work? I was only in a couple of days. All right. I have an address for a psychiatrist. I'm not seeing land. All right. What state are you in? A bad one. Uh... Northern California. Check out the guy in Deer Creek. I can wire you an address. I don't want to let the band down. Don't worry about the band. Look after yourself. Hey, Denny? Denny? What? Christmas comes this time each year. Ooh, Merry Christmas. Charlie Manson, what are you doing here? I thought you were in and out of county jail. State pen, but it's all the same. They let me record stuff, but I can't get it out there. I'm short on just about everything, Chuck. Come down to the coast, Donald's got this great spot. It's no time for surfing. Fancy a boat ride? I could go for a swim. Look at this. This is the key to the Wilson family home. You believe that? All the brothers together. What a joke! I'm getting out of my head. Out of my depth. Best bet, jack it all in. Chuck it. Give me that key. Give it. I've had it. I've had it. I know family can be heavy. If they're not up to snuff, cut them out. That's what Brian's done. Can't talk to him at all. Landy's got him in isolation. Is he happy? I don't know. Feeling like they'll send me away next. Find me a keeper. You've got control, man. Jack it in. Jack it in. Jack it in. I've made a mistake. I'm gonna slim down. Find that key. No, man, don't rock the boat. I'm heading down. Don, hold my jacket. Hold my shit. You're off your head, Denny. Wait around. I don't want to leave it behind. I just want to get away from it all. I'm getting lightheaded. Just gotta go deeper. Head for the light. Dennis! My brother! Hey, Brian. What are you doing down in the depths? I'm just washing my car. Sweet ride, bro. Danny, you gotta, you gotta eat more vegetables. You're not looking so good. I think I'm drowning. Well, figures. You wanna go back up? Not this time. I've been working on a song. I, I think you'll like it. Uh, how's about we go for a drive? Let's go to heaven in my car I'm gonna take you there too at night Let's go to heaven in my car Ain't gonna be stopping for rent Phone call for you, Mike. Say who it is. Hey, Mike, it's Brian. Hey, Brian, I thought Dr. Landy said you shouldn't talk to me. Said family time was no good for you. Well, that's okay. It's just a little phone call. Just a little friend time. So did you see my movie? <laughs> it's not your movie, Bri. But yeah, I saw it. Number one at the box office. Or it was when it came out, I guess. Did you hear my song got nominated for an award? Yeah, Bri, you're back on top. So did you like it? Did you like my song? You know what? I did. I liked it. It was real sexy. A sexy song, Brian. You know, I, uh, well, I, I've missed you, Mike. We've all missed you too, Bri. Can you believe it? Got a norm for an award? What was it? A golden raspberry for worst stinking tune? Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Burn. So anyway, how's Brian doing? He's America's darling. He can afford to be ill all the time, and they praise his name. You know what I was reading this morning? That there's a Republican Medal of Honor. Charlton Heston, Republican Medal of Honor. Margaret Thatcher, not even American, Republican Medal of Honor. At the same time, at the same award dinner? Why didn't the B-Boys get that sort of award anymore? If Brian wins his award, I'm going to flip! Mike, I believe in you. With Brian locked away, you're the heart and soul of the Beach Boys. 
if anyone could win the Republican Medal of Honor, it's you. It's like I told that magazine woman. We want our listeners to get a whole lot of love. Of mic love, that is. And we use a lot of mics, too. <laughs> You're not funny, Al. But you keep on trying. And it makes me sick. Wow, my name is Brian and I'm the man. I write hit songs with the wave of my hand. My name is Brian and I'm the man. I write sick songs with the same of the hand. My name is Brian and I'm the man. I write sick songs with the wave of the hand. My name is Brian and I'm the man. Brian, Brian, it's not working. I guess I've never really written a rap before. I'm not gonna lie, this has a really strong start. But you need more. More content. Normally I just, uh, <laughs> play the chords round and round and round, round and round and round again. And, uh, That's not going to work here, is well, it? I just need Van Dyke here to help me Van alerts. Dyke Parks can't write rap. The man has a mustache, for God's sake. Well, you've got a mustache. This is a beard. It's completely different. Just, just calm down. We need to just sort this out. Because we are a couple of cool guys. This should be easy. Run me over what we've got so far. My name is Brian and I'm the man. My name is Brian and I'm the man. What have man. we got in the notes? Uh, the Brian rap? Can't this be the girls rap? Like California, Mexico. I'm not so sure. Is that still... Is that still in? Is that still... It is, if it's a rap. Okay, not just girls. Muscle girls. You know, lady wrestlers. Powerful girls. Margaret Thatcher. Smart girl. That's bang on. The smart girls. The smart girls rap. Sexy ladies with high IQs. It's not just sexy bodies, it's... Sexy brain. Why, it's strictly on a higher plane. What you could do, you could compare them to the girls you used to sing about. A load of dumb broads. All the songs I used to write were about girls that weren't too bright. Wouldn't it be nice if PhDs were stroking me with hypotheses? It's sexy, but it's progressive. Ba 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 and she ran away with another man! Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna save the planet, save the whole environment. Power of song, big tune, sexy cover. Gonna save the earth. Other bands sing about it, we're gonna actually do it. We just need a big song. Crying polar bears, weeping dolphins, wrinkles, but widescreen, like a movie of a song. This could be big. The biggest thing. Who do we know with a bit of, uh, pull? Who's your mate from Mar-a-Lago? What, Donald? He doesn't even believe in the earth. He's a rich guy, Mike. All right, but you gotta have a strong-ass plan B. Brian's out now. Brian's back. Always not, For the love of God, just once not make this a Brian show. I'm trying to save the planet here. The planet Earth. Heard of it, huh? Capiche? Good? Good. All right, he's not answering. Probably not home. Plan B. Paul McCartney? Plant-based diets. Now! Van Dyke Parks. But no Brian? Sure. Sure thing. I'll see if I've got a number. Kokomo is a hit. A hit song. Number one, two, and three on the charts. Real pity Brian wasn't aboard. Van Dyke records we've invented a new sound. Oh, like Yacht Rock. That's not a thing, and don't you even start, Carl. What's going on? We're number one, two, three. And three. Gonna save the damn planet, get a Republican medal if it kills me, pin it on my ass. Kokomo doesn't even mention saving the planet. It's called a lead single, Carl. Look it up in Encyclopedia Britannica, why don't you? Shit. It's a lead single. People buy the record, the record goes to number one, and every other damn song on the album is about save the earth, save the world, save the pandas, save the tigers, save the squirrels, save just about every damn little animal, and our names are there all over it. Ah, oh, heck. Our main stories again. Carl Wilson of the band The Beach Boys has died, age 51. Wilson sang lead on such hits as God Only Knows and Kokomo. He is survived by his brother Brian Wilson, thought by some to be the creative genius behind the band, and by his cousin Mike Love, maligned by some as the band's enemy within. Also, Al Jardine. Hey, that's me! Why have they always got to drag my name through the mud? I've always held this band together, even when Brian and Dennis are going off and burning their lives down. Why am I the devil in all these stories? Because I told Brian no once in 1960-something. 67. I'm pretty much I reckon so. There are gonna be weeks of news, features, documentaries. Now Carl's gone and they all be about whack job Brian. What are you gonna tell him? Eh. You never take anyone's side, Alan. It's not a good quality. 
And we're here to interview Brian Wilson, who has at long last completed the recording of his seminal 1967 missing record, Smile. <laughs> That's right, we were gonna make this way back when, and now, almost 40 years later... Brian was the heart of the Beach Boys before a mental collapse in 1967 led him to withdraw completely from public life. But now he's back, bringing with him the sound of the 60s, as you can know. But that's not what happened! Print the legend. That's what they say. Brian was on almost every record we did after that. Beastwise, that's what the songwriting credits say. It's just gonna be up to us. A new fucking history for the Beach Boys, and there's our recognition! We're rich! We're happy! Correction! Brian's rich! He's rich enough to be ill year after year after year after year. I couldn't do that. Dennis was rich. Always cutting checks for that... Murderer. Manson wasn't a murderer. He literally, literally, literally was. Shit, Al Dardine, you might be happy, but what about justice? What about fair dues? Our hour will come, Al. They won't forget us. Now remind me how to sue people. Hold the phone, Mike. Have you seen the news? It's your pal Donald. I run for president. This is old news, Al. Donald's going for the big job, the big kahunas, the big, the big one. Do you know what this means? The Republican Medal of Honor. Oh, I like to think we've all earned it, but I just... Does this guy give you good vibes? Trump? Well, he gives me vibes. That's about right. He's a businessman. I'm hoping for a surprise. And my running mate will be... Come on, come on. Mr. Mike... Come on, say it, say it. Pence. Ah, oh, hell, Donald, why you gotta pick the wrong Mike? I sent in reissues of all our albums when they came out on CD. That's high-quality sound. That's gotta account for something. High-quality music. I don't ask for a lot. Songwriting credits, a little recognition. One teensy weensy medal of honor. They gave it to Charlton frickin' Heston. What's he got that I don't got? Don't answer that. I can't believe Brian's got a contract doing Disney covers, and I'm stuck here golfing in obscurity. Damn it, I'm gonna call him. This is presidential likely Donald Trump. How can I make your America great today again? It's me. Mike! Hey, Mr. Pence! I just announced you! Yeah, this is... Uh, Mike Pence. I was thinking, you know the Beach Boys. Wouldn't it be nice if PhDs... Get them! For the inauguration! Give them medals! And announce them right now! Come on! It'll bag you electoral votes! Votes in the bag, Donald! Or should I call you uh, Mr. President? And what is more, when I am elected, and you know... I am going to be elected the Beach Boys, America's band, are all going to be there. The Medal of Honor. You owe me for this, Pence. The crowds are going wild for the president-elect and for the Beach Boys, almost all of whom have shown out to play the inauguration ball. And this is believed to be the largest crowd an inauguration has drawn since Washington began. I think we're all here. Bruce is just putting on a different hat. Red, white, and blue. Don't forget blue! Blue's the ocean waves. That and the cops. Weird that Brian couldn't come. Litigious asswipe. I'm sure he's with us in spirit. You know, I hate that phrase. We don't talk about spirit. He's with us in TM. Transcendental meditation can emancipate the man and get you feeling grand. Dennis, though. He is with us in spirit. It's like I can feel him. I am here in spirit. <laughs> hey, cool it, Mike. It's just a show like any other. He's gonna burn the world down, Mike. I thought you wanted to save the environment, Mike. I thought you loved the environment. Saving the ozone layer, Mike, love. Uh, I think I'm getting a case of the he he be jeebies. You think he's gonna give you a Republican Medal of Honor? He's not. That little case he got, it's not metals, it's drugs. And already pornography. No! No! You look like you've seen a ghost. You thought you were gonna change the world with sexy tunes. But the world's not sexy. It's on fire, Mike. He's gonna burn it all down. Al, do you believe in spectral apparitions like ghosties? Today, 
I just believe in Trump, and I serve at the pleasure of the president. You wanted to save the environment. The polar bears are crying, Mike. The dolphins are sad and hot and cross. And I'm gonna have to do this on my own. And that figure in the red cap presently approaching the presidential box is controversial beach boy Mike Love, known for such hits as Girls Are Always Ready brackets for a summer of love, close brackets. And he's bringing out a, uh, a gift for the president-elect. It's a knife! A knife! You insanitary tyrant! You ruiner! You pillager! Who is this? Joker! That was for America! I know you! You're Mike Love! You would have been a lousy president! Donald Trump! My husband! No! I'm shot! I'm shot! Ah, right in the ball bag! Ugh. Did the president die? His head is falling off! I mean... What the hell, Mike? I thought you loved America. I thought you loved America. I do. But the environment... Uh, it's bigger. Oh, what a bloody mess. What a bloody, bloody mess. Who'd have thought anyone was full of such dank blood? What an oil slick. Know who did this? Mike Love, he was called. A beach boy. Never really had a fan to call his own. Got on the wrong side of arguments, even when he was right. Made one of my favorite records he did, Country Love. But he never released it. I've had to dig it out on bootlegs. And now there's one less love in the world. Reckon it was worth it, mate. They sung them happy songs, but they all of them struggled. But nobody could see Mike for anything but a twat. But I reckon he was the most honorable of the Beach Boys. Gave it all up. All gone now. Give me a sponge and we can start cleaning up this bloody mess before someone slips in it. Go. The life of a caretaker. Beach boys, beach joys, and any other beach children were. Beach children by Ben Swithin. The beach children were Jonathan Higgs as Mike Love, Dylan Reed Miller as Dennis Wilson, Ben Swithin as Brian Wilson, Beep Salt as Carl Wilson, Candy Anderson as Al Jardine, and Tom Burgess as Ricky Fatar, with Al Mahoney as Murray Wilson, Dandy Anderson as Dr. Eugene Landy, Jack. Nichols as Charles Manson, and Tim Packer as the president-elect. Chelsea Hare and Chris Bambling played Hollywood's Paul Malansky and Donald West, and we heard Faye Sunflower as Paul McCartney, Emily Howes Long as Melania Trump, Richard Scientist as the documentarian, and introducing Lars Petrella as the caretaker. I feel I should clarify that all characters in this story were entirely fictitious, and any resemblance to real figures would come as a deep surprise to me. Ben Swithin. Hello, it's me. Hello. Uh, the Mike Love at the centre of this tale was not the famously litigious Michael Edward Love, who was in the band The Beach Boys. He was, in fact... Michael Faraday, spiritual dynamo, surnamed Love for his excessive devotion in all key areas. To those listening on Election Day 2020, I hope this has taken your mind off the world's current woes. For anyone listening on a different date, I'm sorry for reminding you of the world's current woes. If you are listening in 2016 or earlier, the end of this tale was not entirely accurate, was not a prophecy, uh, but everything else was. Uh, but about fictitious people. As the B-Boys always say, tune in again for more cow children and fewer beach children.